And we are back at Up North at Four. Today we are here with Brandon Jillick, who is the president of this amazing, awesome event. Brandon, president. Thank yeah. you so much for uh, joining us. Thank you for Taking having me. some time away. Oh, yeah. Because it's a huge uh, title that you have. You're a very busy guy. <laughs> Not the only one, trust me. <laughs> Not the only one. The so title this, means nothing. So this is awesome. So how did you, um, you know, have gained this title as president of this awesome event in Wausau here? Uh, I've been a part of the uh, balloon rally here in the Wausau area since I was uh, five. Yeah. Uh, when I was five years old, I started crewing for a balloon pilot, went up in my first balloon ride. And then year after year, me and my dad would wake up early in the morning. We'd head over to the Wasa Airport, mm -hmm. and we would uh, help out any pilot we could. And uh, we got on with a, a local pilot around from around the area, and we grew from there and got more involved. And when this moved over from the airport at the time um, to Taste and Glow, uh, we, we took a heavy, heavy part in it. And uh, when the opportunity came, we... We struck and hit the board and said, we're going to make this thing And here go. we are. Yeah. I got to bet, though, this has consumed your life the last couple months, right? Uh, <laughs> on top of everything else, yes. So watch it all come together. Yeah. What do you think? What, what's on your mind right now as the president? What I got to do next? Yeah. Honestly, no. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's giving the people that have come out here to support us a great event. That, yeah. That's really what's on the top of our mind. Any way that we can, can help the people have the best event ever is, is on the top of our mind. And Randy said there's tons of food trucks, tons oh, of yeah. shopping behind us. Yep. Uh, there's also, I think you mentioned, some kid activities. What are those? Uh, we got, so there's some youth log Over rollers. There, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, so they're trying to do like a log rolling camp. Yeah. Uh, they can watch a lumberjack show. We have face painting, arts and crafts, and the kids' kids' tent. And then we have uh, a bunch of bouncy houses that they can go and use some of their energy on for the, so the parents can have a little break. And, um, and then the kids obviously love the balloons when they start yeah. glowing, and they can run up to them and get their trading cards and all that. So um, there's tons for kids to do. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you mentioned balloon pilot. So, yeah. like, um, how did you, did you always want to do it? Did your dad show you how to do it? Like, how did you start? I, like I said, we just showed up one day and started crewing um, for for a pilot. And he's like, do you want to go up in the hot air balloon? And I was like, yeah, yes. why not? Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. And tell me about that experience. I'm going a pilot, up, too. I know the feeling. <laughs> going up in that because it is on my bucket list, and sure. I've always wanted to do it. So how does it feel, like, the minute you just set off? Uh, for the first couple of seconds, it, it feels maybe a little weird, but then you're just floating. Like, you're, there's nothing you do. You're on a basket. You're not going anywhere. You're just kind of just slowly going up and up. And, I mean, you're really, besides what the pilot's doing, you don't have any control. So it's, yeah. it is, it's kind of peaceful, let's put it that way. Peaceful. And how, how long are you usually up there in the air? Uh, depends on weather and uh, depends on how long the pilot wants to fly and landing opportunities, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Here's the thing. Yeah. She really wants to go. Yes, yes, yeah, so I'm okay. asking. I'm trying to get some information so I, here. I think she knows somebody now who can help her out with maybe, this potentially. Maybe. Maybe. You'll have to join us tonight. You'll have to join us tonight when we talk to the pilots and we can maybe oh, see what we can get squared Have you ever done, have you ever brought like a picnic and, you know. We're, uh, we're, actually, <laughs> we're actually hosting a fish fry thanks to Charlie's Bar for the, the pilots that came to the event this year. So, so okay. here's um, a funny story. She came to me a couple of days ago she's like can we have the whole show like in a balloon <laughs> yes like, that's exactly i'm like no agnes <laughs> that's a lot that, that would be a lot cameras on the side i'm sure they somebody but i could think do it. they can make it somebody it's never it. the impossible jeff it's always the Correct. possible i like right? a challenge but challenge. that was a challenge somebody will accept it so once again this run tonight and yes. through tomorrow yes. Uh, the glow stuff is tonight, right? And then the drone show, you yeah. did, was that you're doing? How the drone no, show thing? No, I take no credit in that. Okay. That that came from our secretary, uh, Jody McGuire. We were just looking for something new. We can't do fireworks out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, being out in, in kind of the country, you have farm we have farm animals right across the street. Yeah. Uh, fireworks aren't the best for them. Got it. And people loved the fireworks when it was at the airport. Yeah. Everybody loves fireworks, mm -hmm. especially this time of year. Right? right? We're a week off from the fourth, so we like what do we can what what can we do? So we thought of a drone. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We'll be right back after this break.